Montana Mojo just came out with new fragrance and a lot of fans are accusing her of stealing. You're watching What's Trending and I'm Mercedes Yvette. Be sure to like this video and hit subscribe for more What's Trending. Popular YouTuber Tana Mojo just debuted her new fragrance titled Tana by Tana, and she busted out a businesswoman video on her channel to debut the product and everything. What's it smell? I'm glad you asked. It's actually a combination of my favorite notes. Are you talk? smoking weed? Actually, it's CBD. It heightens my awareness. I hate you people. What do you mean by you people? The bottle, which happens to be a skull, retails at $48 for two fluid ounces. Tana seemed pretty happy with the response from the fragrance debut since the store sold out pretty fast. But a lot of fans did some digging and they were not happy with what they were seeing. Users were claiming that this bottle looked like it had been used before. Some said that the bottle resembled something that they once purchased from Hot Topic back in the day, or even like a high-end Alexander McQueen fragrance. The look was supposed to be right up Tana's alley as a more adult fragrance, but that wasn't the case. Mojo tweeted that the initial run of Tana by Tana sold out in 76 minutes, despite the fact that her team bought enough units to prepare for weeks of sales. Tana by Tana is still available for purchase, but subsequent orders will take an extra two weeks to ship, she said. Other fans saw a similar bottle available online in larger quantities. One fan tweeted, I can get this perfume bottle from China for 30 cents. You think that with Tana's money and the care she seems to have for her fans, she'd at least come up with something custom and creative. Note, 30 cents is the individual price with free shipping. Considering she bought wholesale, it was about nine cents or less per skull. Point I was trying to make, it's a pre-made item that she did nothing to and she has the connections and resources to do so much more. Overall, it seems like it was a personal success with Tana's fans. Personally, I don't think it was. Now we don't know when a restock will be coming to Tana's store. Some called the site very unoriginal and overall could have been more creative all across the board. But either way, congrats, Tana, you made a fragrance. This success is something she may need after her breakup with Jake Paul, but we'll give it to her. There may even be a second fragrance in the future. Who knows? So what do you think about the fragrance? Do you think this is original at all? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe.